been knitting a little over a year now and with New Year's just behind me and the whole year ahead of me, I thought it was really the time to try something new. So I'm going to be knitting my first pair of socks. I have these 2.25 millimeter Chagu needles in 80 centimeters because I'm going to be following along with Handmade by Florence's Petal Drop Sock Pattern and tutorial. She also has a video online. And I also got this beautiful yarn to knit it in. So this last year, in my first year of knitting, I tried a lot of new things. Some of them were very intimidating to me, but I think socks was one of those things I wasn't really interested in because I have very sweaty hands and sweaty feet, so <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I was, was going to be able to wear them when I made them. But when Florence posted her video and the tutorial, I thought, okay, maybe this is something I can tackle if I have the right, the right yarn. So this is the right yarn for me. I really, really hope it's gonna work out. I really, really hope it's gonna work out well for me. One thing I've done in a few of my past videos, and I really wanna do it this time as well, is to time the whole project. And especially because I wanna know if I can knit the second sock much faster than the first one. Without further ado, which I always wanted to say, <laughs> let's get into it. I just got into the clock app on my iPad to start the timer. Or the stopwatch and I just it's been counting for over 1300 hours like sir I had to recharge you because you had 0% battery how how long have you been counting how is this possible <laughs> wow <laughs> almost two hours to finish only this part um this is the first time i'm knitting with 2.25 millimeter needles i tried 2.5 before but that was a nightmare <laughs> and this is even even worse but since it's so it's a small project i hope it's gonna be easier the more i do it well so far <laughs> it's a little small <laughs> so i do not have large feet i have a european size 36 pretty small so I do hope it's gonna fit if I stretch it out like this. Well, I just I just hope it's gonna fit. The one thing I probably did wrong is the between those two stitches where I pull the cable out, you can really see that. So I don't even have to stretch it, but you can really see this part. I just hope with some blocking and some wear it's gonna like even out a little bit. I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen, but I think I'm doing a great job so far, so I'm really proud of that. And well, we'll see how long the cable part is gonna take, because this took me two hours, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see, this is definitely quicker than making a sweater. I'm guessing, and this is a wild guess since I've never done this before, and if you watched any of my other videos, I usually guess very, very <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Is that how you say it grammatically correct? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but my wild guess is about 12 hours for the first sock. So I'm just gonna go a bit over the way I usually guess and I'm just gonna say 12 hours. We'll see. Okay, so bear with me. I know this looks stupid, <laughs> but this is the partest, wi uh, partest, no, this is the widest part of my foot. <laughs> This is the widest part of my foot and I think when it fits here, it should be fine, right? It's still in the cables and yeah, it should fit. I hope it does. So I just finished watching The Untouchables and I've been crying for a little over maybe five minutes. <laughs> but okay, um, so <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna, yes, I'm just gonna keep going with my sock. <laughs>
Hello, it's been five days since I started the first sock and I finished it yesterday, which means it took me four days, but around 11 and a half hours. So if you remember, I said I was gonna estimate how long it would take and I estimated it would take me around 12 hours and it took me around 11 and a half hours. So, first of all, my estimations are getting better. <laughs> and second of all, this is the sock. If you're a seasoned sock knitter and you watch this, then you might think, oh my God, it takes me back to my first sock knitting days. <laughs> but if you've never knit socks before, basically what happened is I started with this cuff and what you do is you have a very long needle and then you divide the stitches right through the half on one needle and then the second needle and you always pull one through so you have enough space to knit and then you knit the stitches on one needle and then you pull the other one through and then you knit the stitches on the second needle so um that's kind of that's what magic loop is i think my favorite part of this was actually the heel flap because this was kind of fun to do but i also really enjoyed the plain stock in it i don't know what it is but maybe it's the 2.25 millimeters but it looks so cute <laughs> just very small stock in it i really like it and this is the lace up close and this is the heel flap. So as I said, 11 and a half hours, but that also includes me watching the tutorial while going along with it. I think the second sock is gonna take around 11 hours because I figured it out now and I only need to go through the whole thing. I can work with the pattern itself. I know I, I've heard of the second sock syndrome where people don't wanna knit the second sock, but I'm actually kind of excited to knit the second sock because I, I really want to know how it looks when I finish both and when I finally get to wear them. Okay, enough talking, more knitting. Let's knit the second sock together. It took me 20 hours to finish both socks, but you know what's crazy? It took me 11 and a half hours to finish the first sock and only eight and a half hours to finish the second sock. So this is crazy. I was estimating at the beginning of this video that the first sock will take me around 12 hours, which it kind of did. It was 11 and a half hours, but I wanted to overestimate a little bit just to be on the safe side. And I also kind of thought that the second sock would be quicker than the first sock, but I would have never imagined <laughs> that it would be quicker by three hours. In general, the process was a lot more smoother with the second one because I was already kind of in the groove of how to do the lace and I didn't have to look at the chart as much because I was also, I already knew how to do it. The cuff also went by a lot quicker, although I now realize I might have done it like one or two rows more than the first one. <laughs> I mean, okay, but maybe this just needs to stretch. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's not gonna be that noticeable, so yeah. In general, 
I talked a little bit about the process when I did the halfway update, I think. But this was a very nice tutorial and a very nice pattern, so it was very clear. And even if I didn't understand something right away, I had the video to look into and to, you know, visually see what I'm supposed to do. This helps me a lot, especially with things like the Kitchener stitch where I need to kind of figure it out how it works. And I'm really thankful for Florence that she did this whole very elaborate tutorial because it was the only way I was kind of feeling ready to knit socks. <laughs> I really wanted to show you these after I blocked them, but the blockers in my local yarn shop were kind of expensive and I didn't want to spend that money right now. I wanted to make my own blockers, but then I kind of got lazy, so <laughs> I didn't. I will show you how they look when I wear them. If you watched Florence's video or if you've seen the pattern, then you know how the socks are, the socks are supposed to look. But this is kind of how mine look up close. So we have the cuff, we have the lace, the leg, and then the heel flap. I hope you can see that. The heel flap right here with the increases. And then this is where the heel goes. And then obviously the foot part with the lace and the stock in it. And then the toe box like this. And this is it. I finished my first pair of socks in about 20 hours. And I have to say this is kind of a more, well, maybe not advanced, but more of an, more of an intricate pattern if that's what it's called because because of the lace i do think my first pair of vanilla socks will be a lot more quicker and i'm very happy that i have this much left i am not sure this will be enough for the second pair of socks i'm planning on i want to do the ruffle socks by petite knit i hope i can do that i think i can do that after i've done this i think this is a great pattern if you want to start out because you also have the tutorial available and it definitely gives you the confidence to start on a different pair of socks because you already know how it's kind of supposed to be, even if not all patterns are the same, especially I think the increases on the heel kind of differ a lot. But nonetheless, I've already knit my first pair of socks, so I know kind of that I can do it. And if I try another pattern, I do think it will be successful. So overall, this was definitely a big success and I am very, very happy. And also 20 hours is crazy. I don't think 20 hours is a lot. It kind of made me think that I might wanna knit a pair of socks each month in this year because it's January, you know, it's the perfect time to start something new. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but maybe, I can have 12 pairs of finished socks by the end of this year and that's something to look forward to. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really liked the video and I had so much fun doing this. If you've knit socks before, please let me know in the comments how long yours took, even if you don't have the exact number of hours, but maybe like a week or two weeks or three weeks. And if you've never knit socks before, you can also let me know which would be your first pattern to start. and. In general, if you have any pattern recommendations for socks, also I want to get into color work, please let me also know in the comments down below. And I hope you have a nice day, night, or whenever you've been watching this. So see you in the next one. Bye!